I was very honored to be asked by Tom to be part of this project. When he reached out to me, I was a bit nervous because I'm not used to photographing myself. I usually hide behind my camera, and I love photographing other people and capturing them, but quarantine created a really interesting experience where I didn't have any other options. And so I got to work with myself, which was really intimate and very self-reflective. Quarantine has been so interesting in regards to sexuality and sexual expression. It's all digital and we're spending a lot of time with ourselves, and I'm seeing a lot of people focus on self-pleasure, which is really what my work was about and the inspiration behind my work, just really honing in on self-pleasure and working on yourself in a time where you can't be surrounded by other people. As a woman working in Hollywood, you become aware very quickly um, of the lack of representation in the industry. It's extremely male, it's extremely white, and my sisters deserve more, particularly my black and trans sisters deserve so much more. Their voices deserve to be heard and their stories are very powerful. And I, I wanna make sure that I'm part of the team that is making sure that those voices are heard. It starts with me, it starts with you, and it starts with anyone who not only decides that those voices need to be heard, but takes active steps to make sure that there are places for them in the industry and that when I am, in, I am empowered to hire people, that I am hiring women to, to work with me, black women to work with me, trans women to work with me, and creating those opportunities for people that are so incredible and that really end up getting the bottom of the barrel within the industry. And as a white woman, I believe it truly is my duty to make sure that all of the work that I do includes, the, the, includes those people and includes the voices that other people aren't necessarily creating space for. The most interesting part about this collaboration was that it wasn't physically collaborative. I'm very used to being on set with a lot of different energies and really feeding off all of those energies and I love the power of collaboration. Um, but this project specifically for me was me shooting pictures of myself, I set up the lighting, lighting myself, I did everything myself. And I was actually, I actually almost missed the deadline because I was just going through a lot with myself. Um, dealing with a lot of mental health things just through quarantine, which had been really hard on me. And so it was actually a really transformative experience for me, just spending some time with myself, setting up some lighting that I had been dying to try out and hadn't given myself the time to try, um, and just having a really intimate moment with myself, just me and my camera, and um, creating images that are like nothing that I've ever created before because I don't normally photograph myself. So I think my favorite part about it was the, the inspiration came from collaboration um, and the creative director and all the other people that I saw working on the project, but the work was extremely individual and very intimate, which challenged me in a really interesting way.